So my name is Jared Cox. I work here at the Firestone Institute for Respiratory Health and Respiratory Medicine with a specific interest in pulmonary fibrosis. I've been here for about 20 years and um, along with my colleague Dr. Martin Kolb, we run clinics that specialize in seeing people with lung tissue or interstitial lung diseases. Pulmonary fibrosis is simply a long way of saying scarring of the lung. Fibrosis in any organ is due to scarring or scar tissue being formed and this affects the lung quite specifically. IPF is an illness that is confined to the lung usually, although there are cousins or related diseases that occur as part of a general body disease, a systemic disease, they behave differently. So IPF is a specific entity, there's scar tissue laid down in the lung and since your lung is supposed to open and close with every breath it becomes more difficult to open and close because the scar tissue is stiffer than normal tissue. The other thing that people notice about scars if there's extensive scarring in the skin that there's disfiguration things get pushed and deformed, they get pulled out, pulled in, out of place. That happens in the lungs too and in general fibrous tissue, scar tissue tends to shrink and as a result of that, the lungs become smaller, they also become stiffer, and it's harder for a person to breathe. IPF is an illness that has no known cause. We recognize risk factors, and you may have been exposed to some of these risk factors uh, at some time in your life, but we don't know the cause and in fact the first word in the name the word idiopathic that means no known cause now the factors i talk about are an exposure uh, to items or things in the air that cause injury to the lungs and you, you know what those are pollution uh, dust particles in high intensity dust particles cigarette smoke same things that cause a lot of other lung conditions can in fact make pulmonary fibrosis worse. They didn't cause it, but they made it a worse condition than you if you've had those exposures. Pulmonary fibrosis affects people in, in really one big way, and that is that they are short of breath. So I wonder how it has affected you already. You've probably noticed some impact of this disease to make you less active, um, that you might have less stamina, that you mightn't be able to do certain vigorous activities like you used to. You mightn't be able to do them as quickly as you used to. The, that problem of being short of breath on exertion and having diminished stamina and, and reduced endurance, those problems are likely to continue to get worse as the fibrosis extends and affects a greater part of the lung than it does now. The other big impact of pulmonary fibrosis is to cause cough. The patient sometimes is distressed by the cough, but actually a lot of people around them are distressed by it too. And people get self-conscious of others wondering what's wrong with them and have you got an infection and are you going to give me something? So the cough can be quite socially disruptive, as well as unpleasant to have. So prognosis means what's going to happen. And in idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, we expect it to be a progressive condition. We expect it to get worse with time. The rate at which it gets worse in any given patient is impossible for us to predict. So, I don't know what's going to happen to you. I do know that the illness won't get better itself. We do know that its tendency is to get worse. We don't know how quickly. When you ask me the question, am I going to die? I will rephrase that question if you don't mind. And to, am I going to die from pulmonary fibrosis? So you are certainly at risk. That can happen. That is in fact, a, likely to happen but there are some patients with this illness who have a very slow course their illness seems to uh, become hit a plateau it, it levels off and doesn't change there are a lucky minority for whom that happens and then there are somewhere around five percent patients 
who have a very benign, non-progressive illness, an illness that's de definitely present. We can see it on testing, but there is no evidence of progression over time, and we don't understand why that lucky few have that illness or what determines their good outcome. So in short, I don't know what's going to happen, but we will continue to take care of you through the illness. A number of things about IPF that I do tend to repeat to patients. Um, these include that we don't know what caused it. We don't know what's going to happen to you. We have an idea, an experience of what happens to a group of patients with this condition, but what happens to you is an individual journey, and what we offer and commit to is that we will travel that journey with you. We don't know where it will lead, but we do know that the illness tends to progress, and we can anticipate, we know what might happen, and we're happy to share that with you, but we certainly will look out for it with you, and we will do our level best to help you through the challenges that may come your way.